Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to use Q horizontal scroll bar control in Qt application. Or also we see how to use its event and signal and slot function in our application. Also we see how to use their functions like how to set minimum or maximum range and etc. So let's start. Simply just add scroll bar control in our application. Also add one label control to display the value. Alright, the default value is zero. Also change the font style. And now let's create event. Go to slot and create a value change event. Set the value on label. Let's print the value. Include the header files. And run the application. Wait for build. So you can see when I change the or move the scroll bar, you can see the its value on label control, or also you can see the current value of scroll bar. Let's set the minimum or maximum value. You can easily set the minimum or maximum value by here or if you want to set or change the value you can set call the function set minimum zero and set maximum is is 500 so let's run the application you can see the value if you do don't want to write the code just simply change here the property or also you can change the page step value and single step value. Single step value means if you want when you click on the, these two buttons left and right the single value is incremented with current value and page step it when you click on the page on the scroll bar. So let's change the value single step is 5 and page step is uh, 100. Okay. Now let's run the application. So you can see when I click on the page scroll bar, the value is incremented by 100. And when I click on the buttons, you can see the value is incremented by 5, which is set by here. Also, you can set the both the value by using this function. Set page step is 10 or set the single step is 5. Now, let's run the application. So you can see the page step is 10 and single step value is 5.
so let now let's add one more scroll bar create the event and just simply display the value on second label and set the same property for scroll bar 2 just change the name ok now let's run the application so you can see now let's connect both scroll bar control with each, each other just simply link with the value change and set the value and set the second scroll bar control with the first scroll bar control now let's run the application So you can see when I move the any slider, the second slider will move with her. So by this way you can easily set or use the horizontal scroll bar control in Qt application. And please drop your comment if you have any question about how to use Qt horizontal scroll bar control in Qt application. And Please like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share with your friends and please press the bell icon to get to get notification of new video and thanks for watching my video. Thank you.